I couldn't be more honored that the mayor has selected me uh, for nomination. And having had the privilege of serving on the board for four years before, I realize how critical, effective, excellent transit is, making sure all of our citizens in the greater Houston area have excellent okay. transit and that we build for the future because, of course, as we all know, the Houston area's growth is exploding and we're going to need to have adequate transit for all of the new citizens moving in as well. So I'm just particularly honored because Mayor Turner, whom I've known for many years and admired greatly and watched as an exemplary public servant, has chosen me for this position. And I thank you all for being here and I thank you very much. Thank you. To the presidents of uh, council members, uh, uh, Mayor, Pro, Mayor Pro Tim Ellen Cohen, uh, council member uh, Carlos Cisneros, and council member Amanda Edwards, and then the person who has guided the entire transition team, who has been working, uh, uh, I, I, I just can't say enough for, uh, and of course, uh, David, David. Thank you very much, Ms. Bird. All right, any questions? Thank Yes, sir. Yeah. You have talked about having a paradigm shift when it comes to transportation. It's exactly what you said to the TTC. Yes. What specifically do you think Metro will do or needs to do to achieve that? Well, Metro is a, is a, is a, well, plays a very vital role in that um, because of, a part of what I've said is that we have been focusing so much, uh, especially the Texas Department of Transportation, on that 97% of people in single occupancy vehicles. Um, and we're building roadway capacity. And there, there will always be a need to build roadways, no question about that. Uh, but we have built on I-10 26 lanes, including the feeder roads. It is the widest highway in the world. Um, and cost us about $2.5 billion. We finished it in 2008. And seven years later, it is the eighth most congested area um, in, the, uh, in the state of Texas. So we need multimodal forms. We need to bring all the stakeholders together. Textile is one. A metro happens to be another. Uh, can't overlook commuter rail. We can't overlook light rail. We can't overlook park and ride. Uh, there are a number of options that are out there, and we need to provide multiple choices to people to getting them from point A to point B. Metro is a vital stakeholder in that, uh, and in working with all all of our stakeholders from the congressional level to the county level. And Ms. Padman is well uh, positioned uh, to take Metro and to move us forward in that direction. To Ms. Padman, you, how is right now different than what you when you took a board seat in 2010? What do you think your challenge will be? Well, I think we have you know the region's growing exponentially, and revenues are down somewhat. Revenue from the federal government. Uh, we the beneficiary of some significant grants and right now we don't have as much grant money coming in and obviously some of the local revenues are down given the challenges in the economy and so I think it's a big challenge to develop additional transit opportunities within the constraints that we're going to be facing in this economic time but I'm confident we can do it and I'm really looking forward to the challenge let me thank all of you, and again, thank you, thank you for agreeing to serve. Let me thank my council members, and David, thank you so very much as well. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.